How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Tech Coach background on their video, and this time is not going to be a very in, like a full in-depth review because there are so many videos out there showing how to use this product, and I'm not going to go into the use or anything. I'm just going to give my thoughts and opinions of the new Apple Watch. So this is actually the first Apple Watch that I personally owned. I have played around with them since the inception of the Apple Watch. This is a 42 millimeter Sport Series Two. Um, now. Kind of the background, at least when I originally saw the Apple Watch, I kind of wanted one. Uh, I didn't know if, I, if I'd use it as much as I would, um, so I didn't buy the original one. Uh, and then when the price came down, and of course after that seeing it, I really wanted the stainless steel one. Even to this day, I still would prefer the stainless steel, because the stainless steel, the heftiness of it, I do like a heavier watch myself. Um, but the quartz uh, front is what I really wanted. When it came down to it, when, the, when they launched Series 2 saying that it was waterproof, up to 50 meters, you can go swimming with it, it tracks swimming. Oh, that's exactly what I want because like my fitness tracker, my favorite fitness trackers so far are pretty water resistant. Um, the Misfit Shine I really liked the, uh, because of the swimming feature, but no display. Um, I did really like my Under Armour band. However, you, didn't want, you couldn't do swimming with that, so that was kind of the one lacking point of that one. However, with the Series 2, you can go swimming with this puppy. So, I decided, you know, I'm going to buy one. Funding being as it is, I just bought the Sport version. I didn't go all out and get the stainless steel version. So, first of all, I got a protector for it, and I got bought a screen protector. I've already done the review of the screen protector. Don't buy it. At least the one I got. So, um, and then, of course, after playing with it out, the screen, screen protector, I liked how the glass felt. And, of course, it's a watch. I'm going to get scratches on it. I'm kind of done trying to do the whole protective like crazy like I do with my phones. So in this case, I'm wearing it naked. Uh, and I have now for two weeks. So, first of all, I got it about two weeks ago now. Um, and immediately after the first night, loved it. A battery expectancy. Uh, I, I expected to get a day of battery, which I definitely get more than a day of battery. By the time I get home and I know, I get up and I'm putting on about 6 a.m., give or take, uh, sometimes earlier, sometimes a little later, but usually run around that 6 a.m. mark, and I don't get it back to the charger until 11 to midnight. At 11 to midnight, I'm usually right around that 50, 56% battery left. So, yes, I could technically probably get two days worth. It really comes down to use. Uh, the one day that I actually dropped below 40% by the time at that point was a day that it was raining out and on my my uh, sleeves that I got was getting wet and it was constantly hitting Mickey Mouse and telling me the time. Oh, I guess I didn't put in my passcode. So it's 9.49. So Mickey kept telling me the time every time because my because a wet sleeve would keep hitting it and I, I'd keep bumping it or whatever. So certain things, of course, but um, I love the fact that it, it is responsive for when I look at it, it shows up. Uh, I'm a huge Disney fan, so having a Mickey Mouse on the face was always a plus. Notifications are the best of any smartwatch or smart band that I've ever owned or ever tried uh, because it's full use of the notifications. I get my messages and I can reply to my messages via uh, writing or talking. I use Siri a lot, so just tell her what to write and that's it. Um, so notifications, app support, things like that are fantastic. I'm still getting used to what apps and what I like to use and what apps I don't. I just, for the first time today, opened up the Amazon app on here and is actually able to search for a product. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm not going to get into all the app support. I'm just kind of going into what I like and what I don't like about the Apple Watch. Um, what I don't like is probably one thing that would have been negated had I gone for the stainless steel version is the glass screen. I think it should be a quartz screen, no matter what. I think that's the one thing that they should have put on all of them. Um, I already have a scratch on mine. It's about a quarter of an inch long, near the digital crown, actually. Um, I have no idea when I did it or how I did it, but I did it. Uh, it was actually after I got the screen protector and ripped that puppy off because I hated it so much. Um, so uh, that's one thing. The glass will scratch. And, of course, after I got it, I was like, well, I've already kind of deduced to the point where I don't know if I really want a screen protector at all. Um, and after it doesn't really affect my viewing of it unless i look at an angle i can see the scratch going like that in all reality it's a watch every single watch i own has scratches on it i shouldn't be all crazy about it and even with quartz you can get scratches on it. so with that said um 
the scratches are, are what they are. But the screen should have been quartz. That's my th thinking itself. It's actually a lot lighter than I anticipated. You know, obviously put, picking it up in your hands, it feels heavy. Um, I've had heavier things on my wrist. So uh, the weight, actually, I really like. The size, I could have even gone a little bit bigger. 43 millimeters is a nice size. I actually probably could have, wouldn't have mind maybe a 46 or something. So that's something in the future. Uh, because I had a Suunto watch, which was much larger than this. And uh, I love that watch. So size-wise, they could actually go bigger. Square versus round, I don't care. I really don't, as long as it's usable. Uh, the digital crown, I love. Uh, excuse me. The bands are some of the things that I'm going to be doing in cell reviews for. I already have one review on a separate uh, silicon band. Um, but they're awesome. Like the this guy here, which is just the standard Apple silicone that came with mine, because I got the the black, the space gray with the black uh, band. Um, really, really comfortable. The silicone, no matter which company, like this is a, a cheaper knockoff company. Both are very comfortable. I actually wear this a lot more than I wear the Apple one because I like colors. Um, but the to take them on and off, just pushing that little button behind here and it just slides right off. Uh, if you actually look at the band themselves, they have this little uh, metal guy that, or this little plastic guy, I guess, that when you push, kind of locks into place. Pretty cool on, on the whole concept of how this works. So when you push it in, it pushes this black guy down, which uh, activates this little metal guy that pops down into the hole. And then when you push it in here, it pops it back up. So very ingenious in how that works. Um, I thought I think they uh, they did a really good job of, of how the bands operate and how easy they are to operate. So um, I do like that a lot. But the the various bands there are so many bands in the market, so you can make this watch your own, and uh, that's definitely one of the neatest things I think about the whole watch itself. Um, the series two part, the the speed is definitely faster than the original, but of course, more than anything, is the waterproofness. I can actually don't have to worry about going in the hot tub or whatever. I just keep it on. It tracks me. It's awesome. Uh, and that actually probably comes down to the, one of my my favorite features of the Apple Watch is, well, I'm not a fitness guru and I don't do a whole bunch of workouts and go running and all that stuff. I work out pretty much at work doing work. Um, but what, f tracking your fitness on this is a substantially different experience than using a fitness tracker like a Fitbit or the UA band or a Misfit or anything like that. Uh, they're more tracking you to a step point. You know, I want 10,000 steps. That's my goal. You can see how many steps you've taken with the Apple Watch, but its goal has nothing to do to really with how many steps you take. Uh, and these rings are, are what do it. So right now today, I'm, you know, whatever, a tenth of the way or whatever in but I can actually use the, I can actually swipe or I can use the digital crown. Uh, their three things are moving, exercise, and standing. Um, they want you on your feet. You're not gonna really burn many calories sitting down, right, and not doing much. Obviously, uh, one of the things that they're updating is for people that are in wheelchairs, you're gonna be sitting down, but you're gonna be working your arms, so that's a different thing. Uh, so, moving, um, they want you up, standing, they want you up standing, uh, they have my goal is is a 12 hour goal standing at least part of the 12 of 12 hours of the day so i'm sitting down during watching a movie for two hours i'm not going to meet those two hours so i gotta fill out the rest of the day so pretty cool uh and so each of those have their own ring uh and accordingly right so moving is all about calories how many calories am i burning well if i'm walking versus running i take fewer steps running and burn more calories um, so it's all about calories. Uh, exercise is my goal right now. I have it set for 30 minutes. During the weekends, I typically come, I usually meet it. Uh, during weekdays, I <laughs> blow it away. So I may actually eventually up my my uh, my goals, I guess, myself. But as of the first two weeks, I'm still kind of getting used to it. Um, pretty awesome there. The watch itself, if you have an iPhone... If you if you have a smart tracker and like specifically on your wrist, do this. It is so much more usable than a Fitbit ever will be. Uh, so if you can afford it, of course, because these are the cheapest in the world. You can still get a, a first series one, the original uh, Apple Watch, if they're still available, pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, definitely check them out. They have the two sizes, thirty eight and forty two. This is the forty two, uh, and in the box comes the Apple Watch 
with the band. The band does come with two different sizes. So this is the small and then they have a larger band as well. Um, but it also comes with um, the way you charge it actually snaps onto the back. It's pretty simple. There's tons of videos that just you set it on it. However, they do have a nightstand mode. So I'm, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab my charger and I'm gonna show you what that nightstand mode does and uh, how it looks, cause that's kinda cool. So in, in the box as well, they have the, the standard power adapter that would come with your iPhone or whatever. And so I'm plugging it down here. And so what it is, is I can place it on here and it'll start charging. However, if I actually put it at an angle, like I just set it on my nightstand, right? It'll actually be like an alarm clock. It'll actually tell you the time. It doesn't stay on all night, uh, but if you even touch it, it'll come right back up real quick. So pretty cool on how that operates. And of course, this does have the magnetic charging that in all reality, they should have on the iPhone as well. Um, they've already perfected it essentially because it works really, really well. Uh, and of course, there are stands that you can get that will hold this up. If you have a stand that holds it up sideways like this, it'll keep the night stand or the alarm mode, um, alarm clock mode, right? So pretty cool. Um, and just to show you, I guess, real quick, this is the, the larger band that comes with it. So you can see the, the size variance, right? Um, quite a large size variance. If I wear the large band on my wrists, I'm on the innermost one, to be honest. It's nice, it, it fits perfectly, but then I have a long, Kind of slide, it's kind of slide down in, or with the small band, I'm kind of right in the middle, um, fourth one in, I think, yeah. So right, literally right in the middle. So in all, all in all, uh, Apple Watch, awesome. I'm so glad I have one now. Uh, I am glad I waited. I will say that because the waterproofness is one of those key features that I really wanted. Um, because if I'm gonna wear the watch, I'd rather wear it everywhere. And of course, in, if I'm in the pool, the nice thing about this is if I'm anywhere near my phone, I get the notifications because it does connect via Bluetooth, it does connect via Wi-Fi. Um, this guy does have GPS, so I can actually go walking or running without my phone and still track my progress via a map. So pretty cool, uh, definitely check it out. And like I said, not a, really a huge in-depth review this time, uh, but I do have a lot of bands that I'm reviewing. And so I did want to at least give my, give my two cents about the Apple Watch itself. Love the watch. Uh, I love the customizing of the bands. It's so much fun. And I change bands every day, to be honest. So I'm one of those guys. So that said, thanks for watching. And keep up, because we have several reviews for bands coming. Um, probably one right after this one or real soon. So uh, check those out. And then, of course, we will see you on the next video and thank you very much for watching make sure you check us out on facebook at tech gooch as well as the thanks guys we'll see you next time